Our first guest is an interior designer and TV host. You know him from shows like Curb Appeal and HDTV, as well as TLC's hugely popular reboot of Trading Spaces. He's in town as part of the St. Paul Home and Landscape Show. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for John Getting, everybody. Hi, John. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Have you been here? Have you been to Saint, Minneapolis, St. Paul before? Oh, yes. You have? I love St. Paul. Is it a good town? Yes. It's a weird, yeah, if we do say so ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we're, we're specifically talking, and I like this. I like this category. We're talking about wall art specifically. Yes. Because there are things you can do wrong with wall art that people may not get. So we're going to take a look at some photos and kind of walk us through here, if okay. you will. Okay. So too big or too small. This is a common problem, oh, especially yes. for people who've found the piece of art that they really want in their home, and they think they know which wall it's supposed to go on. But if the wall is too big and the art is too small, you need to fill around it. And if the art is too big, you need to find a new wall for it. Yeah, because, I mean, that's a perfect, that, that, that chair, the green one on the left, the wrong one, that is, there's still a lot of wall space yes, that exactly. you could fill easily. Now, would you do, let me, let me ask you, would you possibly do like another smaller one under that one? Yeah. Would that be, John, acceptable? Yeah, exactly. When it's too small, you want to fill in with other art, photography, posters work. Um, I find that an, an informal approach to art is almost perfect because yeah. you can treat your walls as a living, breathing reflection of your personality and style. Let's go to the next one. I think the next one is my mother. <laughs> this, my mother-in-law hates this. You call it what she calls it, matchy-matchy. Don't go matchy-matchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because you like some flowers doesn't mean we got to see flowers everywhere. <laughs> Look um, at the, that's a lot of flowers. It's a lot of flowers. That's Me, a lot. Meanwhile, rules are made to be broken. Um, sometimes you want to have a repetition of pattern because you're excited about the colors in the patterns or excited about the scheme, but matchy um, matchy is never a good look. Leo, can we go back to the picture? John, let me ask you. I've heard this from, we've done countless segments like this. It, do you go with the thing too, like if we, t okay, so that picture. Yes. Are you one of those that like you, let, let's say the homeowner loves that picture for whatever reason. Would you then pick a color out of that photo to, to uh, kind of outline the rest of the room? What a, a prescient question, Jason. <laughs> because yeah, yes, because yes, uh, art is a really great way of defining the color scheme of a room, setting a color. For example, if you love a certain color already, you can find artworks that incorporate it. But having that vibration and that parallel of art and the colors within a room is a very powerful impact. It's a way to match but not be matchy matchy. Yes, exactly. That's a very goal. Let's look. <laughs> okay, so variety. Let's take a look at the next one, Leo. Let's pull that one up. Uh, what do we mean by variety? Okay. <laughs> Don't ooh this. <laughs> <laughs> this is my this is my example of a terrible gallery wall. Um, yeah. And I'll tell you why. Okay. There are no regulating lines. Uh, this is the kind of gallery wall that I'm sometimes guilty of creating when on a daytime show they'll give me 20 minutes to do a makeover and I throw some stuff on the wall. No, the right way to do it, you're supposed to cut out pieces of paper that correspond to each piece of art and lay it out with regulating lines so it's pleasing to the eye and then hang it up. Got it. Yeah, I said that's variety. That represents bad art, y'all. That's a bad art wall. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was out of order there. No, no, it's all good. But at the same time, you know, a gallery wall is something that everybody can appreciate yeah. and try themselves because you've got photographs of your family, you've got photographs, you've got art, you've got posters. Create an assemblage that tells your story, but use regulating lines. It doesn't look like a mess. Yeah, plus you don't want a whole bunch of nails. You don't want to guess and then get it up there and then you have 40,000 nail exactly. holes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's look at the next one. I think this is, is this variety? Uh, <laughs> yes. Is this, okay. Yes, thank so you. So what do we need? To, yeah, thank you, Aya. <laughs> thank you, audience. So for this, you know how sometimes you'll find six pieces that, for example, are or Logical prints of birds. You don't want to put them all up in the same room because it starts looking like a science display. You want to yeah. break it up a little bit. So don't. So maybe one or two bird pictures. One Sean? or two yeah. with something else, and then put some other two in another place yeah. and bring some variety. In. A little little bird goes a long way. <laughs> That's right. What do you? Uh, so if people come down to the show and they will, because we just want to, John. We just want to get out of the house. We have been stuck in the house. Oh, yeah. So we're. So um, when we come. Come when say we, hi. Yeah, when they come down to see you, what you doing? What are you going to be doing? I'm speaking once today, twice tomorrow. We're going to be talking about design and art. We'll be talking about TV, trading spaces, curb appeal. People bring their questions. So we have a good time. <laughs> yes, please come. Um, there's a lot to do. There's places for kids. There's inspiration for your patio, inspiration for your yard, your landscaping. So there's a lot to do. Do you get sick, not of being t t talked about or being asked about curb appeal or trading spaces, but 
like a doctor at a, a you know a doctor at a house party when people come up oh i got this thing right here do do you get sick of people always like mining you for decorating advice you know i don't get sick because i always charge for it <laughs> and it it takes the John, sickness right away, you know? I feel great. John knows TV, because that's the perfect place to go to a commercial. <laughs> Coming up, John sticking around. We're going to have a preview of the new season of Trading Spaces, plus a surprise for John that, well, it's a surprise. He has no idea what we're going to do when we come back. Back after this. <laughs> That is a clip from the trailer for the upcoming <laughs> season two of the reboot of Trading Spaces featuring our guest, John Gidding. We're back with John. How is it? Uh, we were talking, uh, you're joining the legacy. I love that they, the legacy, the legacy designers. designers. Yes. You are, you are the newbie. All kidding aside, though, that show really is legendary within the, within the home design. remodeling uh, community. Was it, an, I mean, you, you obviously know what you're doing, but was it still intimidating walking in and seeing Frank and, and Hildy? I mean, were you a little nervous? Of course. I mean, this is the, the show that started it all. It brought design television to America. I was watching it in college. I waited in line at home shows to get an autograph from Vern. Seriously? Yeah. How about, uh, how about Paige? How was she? Just a joy, a hardworking, exactly how she is on camera. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting that you said that because we have a little surprise for you. Um, I know Paige as well, and I called her up and I said, you know, John's going to be on the show tomorrow. What? Would you like to? And this is what she sent us. Look at this. Hi, John. Jason told me you were going to be on the show today. And when he, when he told me, he asked me, you know, do you like him? And I laughed so hard because, of course, actually on Trading Spaces, we all like each other. We get along really well. Nobody ever seems to believe us when we say that. No. But do I like you? Uh, yes. Um, first of all, <laughs> I told Jason he's going to want to leave his husband for you because <laughs> you are so beautiful. It's painful. You are so you're so smart that it's stupid. And you are so nice <laughs> It's cruel. Oh, okay. And actually, the fact that the two of you are together right now in Minneapolis without me is just so far from right. And it really should be rectified. But I hope you have a great trip, and I hope you enjoy the show. And I love you very much. Bye. Mwah. Paige. She's the sweetie, isn't she? Thank you so much for that, Jason. Oh, you're welcome. That was so wonderful to hear from a little Paige cam, actually. I know. I love her. Yeah. She is just... She, and everyone really on that show is, but it was so funny because I know Paige would tell me like the real deal. So I did yesterday after the show, I called her, I go, girl, I said, John's in the show tomorrow. Do you like him? Like, because I want you to send a message. She goes, I love him. Well, she actually said a curse word in the message in front of the, it was funny. I played the, I played the message and we had a, this, a full audience yesterday and she goes, I blank and love him. And I'm like, oh, Paige, I love you. But yeah, so it's been, you've enjoyed very the much. experience of working on. You know, what's very interesting for me is, and I hate to like break the hearts of your viewership here, but on television, we sometimes fake things. Yeah. Oh, please. They, yeah. It's true. And when I started on Trading Spaces, I thought, okay, you know, it's a budget, quote unquote. But no, it's real. It, and Paige is what keeps us on the straight and narrow. Yeah. And when we go over, she actually will say, okay, so what are we returning in this room? And it's under... not for TV. No. She will actually make you there take back. There won't be cameras there. She'll be like, no, 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 we, we, we do this correct. Did you, because uh, you, had, you, had you have one episode last year or two? I had one. Okay, did you go over last year? Yes. How much did you go over? $47. Why did you do that, John? What did you buy? Oh. <laughs> Why get, did you go over? We gave a, a lamp back. I mean, I wasn't allowed to keep it. Okay, but I got to, but do you not, are you keeping track as you go along? Like yes. You, you are. Yes. And you just if mistook pe $50. If people come. I sound like Paige now, don't I? I'm like. Well, you have to keep in mind, we overbuy so that we see oh. what works. Like, we'll get two rugs to make sure one of them works and then return the other one, get the receipt. You just forgot that lamp. Yes. That's right. Give it up for John, everybody. Go see him. We all want to get out of the house. Get out of the house this way. 
John is part of the St. Paul Home and Landscape Show. Catch him today at 4 and tomorrow at 2 on the main stage. That's right. That's where he should be. Or head to the website below. Bloop. Uh, thank you for being here. Come Thanks back, please. Me. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. So